Happy Monday, everybody. I am having a conversation with local poet, Real Proper Like, and he has an event today. Yes, November 18, today. And you can find all of the info if you're in the Miami area. He will be featuring at Manifest Mondays at Muse. And just check it out. Enjoy the episode. Welcome to Creatively Exposed, a conversation for creatives, introverts, sapiosexuals, and all of the people entertained and who love us. I am Liz Flo, the podcast host, poet, writer, and overall Afro-Caribbean Latina creative. I know that is a mouthful, but welcome to the show. First, I want to say this will be a one-of-one podcast, so (laughs) if you hear anything else, you already know, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to Creatively Exposed. I am here with Brian Donald, a.k.a. Real Proper Life. Right. And I've only seen you around. We just, we hug each other, we dap each other, and we just keep it moving. So it's pretty neat to actually finally have a conversation. Much appreciated. So, Mm -hmm. tell me, tell the people a little bit about you, what you do. Okay. What's your thing? All right. So me, um, I'm real proper. Like I'm a Miami based poet, you know what I'm saying? Raised in Miami. Um, I do mostly poetry and, 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 and writing works. Um, that's what I do. That's what I love. So that's why. Yeah. Why are you called real proper? Like, all right, I'm going to tell you, and, and it's, it's lame. It's really lame. <laughs> it's you know lame. what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I even said sometimes like, Oh, I should make up a, a better story for my name. Uh-huh. But the truth is, is that, I like that word. Okay. And when I hear that word said, I was like, I want to find a way to say that word as much times as possible. Okay. So I just, this is no, this is no lie. So I named myself real proper, like, because I wanted to say, I like that word so much. I wanted to say it as much times as possible. Okay. I mean, I'm not mad at that. We like words in general. So yeah, yeah. that's cool. And how long have you been doing poetry man listen i've been doing poetry for a very long time it's like i can't even measure it mm. you know what i'm saying because it's for me it's like it's a lifetime thing it's like yeah. some people have lifetime things it's a lifetime thing so i've been doing poetry in miami since like 2006 seven a long time yeah you know what i'm saying yeah um i've been doing poetry before that in tallahassee okay um with black on black rhyme and stuff so yeah i've been doing it for a very long time and you always say you have a you're a different kind of poet. Yeah, yeah. Explain that. Okay. Um, I feel like my standpoint, I feel like, you know, the way I present my poems is different. Mm-hmm. Um, my topicality is different. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't you know, a lot of people feel like poetry is supposed to be expressed on love and this and that. Mm-hmm. I didn't start out that way. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So my poetry comes off different. Yeah. I think sometimes it's even performed different. I scream different. <laughs> yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So it's like, that's why I say it's a different kind because it's a different kind of style. Even the, even when I mix it with music, mm-hmm. it's the music is different. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. yeah. So yeah, th- that's what it is. You working on anything right now? Any shows coming up? Yeah. Okay. Um. Well, I need. I want more features. So I'm letting everyone know. I want more features. Okay. And stuff like that's that. good. That's but good. um. Yeah. Um. Uh, Manifest Mondays. Um. Me and some other poets are gonna be out there spotlighting. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Some some real, you know, awesome poets. Mm-hmm. Um. I know Jai the Empress. She's gonna be out there mm-hmm. at this at the Muse Theater. Um. Uh, Majestic Britney's gonna be out there. I'll be out there doing a few uh, newer pieces. Okay. Um, yeah, and then I'm working on some other stuff that I don't want to jinx right yeah, now. Yeah, no, I you know. know what I'm saying? I completely understand. Right, but I'm working on some stuff. Some, 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 some. It's gonna be some more different than before. I have a, a, a recent work too. Okay. Um, Everclear Proof, which is a recent work I put out. Mm-hmm. Um, it's produced by 
a Miami producer named the Pyramids. He worked with a lot of artists. Okay. Um, we were able to get a, a sample from this bow rapper named Bill Collector. Okay. Kind of legend. He's kind of legendary, right? Uh-huh. So he kind of does the hook for the poem, and oh. we got it on iTunes, Spotify, and all that. Oh. Okay, so, I yeah. have to check that out. Please do, you know That's what I'm saying? Really Stream it up, you know what I'm saying? Do it for the coach. Yeah. Yeah. So, what, do you feel like poetry has saved you from yourself? Um, you know, yeah. Um, but not necessarily in the magical way. Okay. You know, like, you have people that be like, yeah, poetry saved me, and then you could, you know, have the little, the twinkle sound effects and the blue, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. It, it wasn't like that. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Um, my younger self, um, when I wrote poetry, um, it helped me to kind of deal with anger. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It helped me deal with feelings. Mm -hmm. Um, it helped me, this is weird, where if I would write about certain stuff, Mm -hmm. if I write about like, like God, Mm -hmm. I write about, cause I was, when I was younger, before I kind of tried to change my life and stuff, Mm -hmm. I was more, um, I was kind of more, not, not saying secular, Mm -hmm. but I had, I was more raw. Okay. You understand okay. what I'm saying? So I, I still talk about the same topics now, mm-hmm. but just with a more mature development. Yeah. So when I'm writing in it and I'm writing stuff, it's like I'm literally feeling like I am outside of myself when I write. Mm. So when I write concepts, for example, about God, mm-hmm. it's like I'm outside of myself seeing like, yo, that's deep where I wrote. Like sometimes you don't even know what you yeah, write. Yeah. And then when you, when you see it on page, it's like, wow, like, yo, it's deep. I think I should think more like that. Mm-hmm, you see mm-hmm, what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then as I got older and I was able to no longer deal with anger. So well, we always deal with anger. And we it always changes. Deal, facts. And we always deal with BS that, that comes our ways in our mm-hmm, life. Mm-hmm. Um, as you get older, you're able to deal with it. I'm able to find, to channel it. Different. So now I can yeah. write and channel it uh-huh. in many creative ways. But yeah, it's, it, it has somehow helped me build um philosophies to grow on okay and to live by you know what i'm saying that's dope yeah so what does it mean to be a creative to you um to be a creative and you could be a creative in many ways Mm. um to be a creative means to use what gifts you have in the most artistic way possible Mm -hmm. um I had a friend, and here I go to my check. Can we do personal stories? It's fine, yeah. Okay, so I had a friend, and his gift was the gift of, you know, hooking up stereo systems, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And um, I know to hook them up too, but he was a, he was a master with it. Mm-hmm. And he could, for example, take the wiring from the amp that's hooked to my battery, Yeah. and he knew how to wire it perfectly into my car. I know somebody without, like right, that. Right. Without having to drill holes and yeah. and possibly have, you know, water leaking in your car that mm-hmm. he knew I'd do it perfectly. He was a creative in the aspect of that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it, it's more than just the the fine arts. You can be a creative in many things. You can be a creative artisan. You can be a creative you know construction worker. Yeah. Yeah. It's just being able to use your artistic abilities to the most maximum potential. Yeah, I really think it's whatever you're passionate about, you're going to keep on pushing it another level. Yeah. And sometimes it's the most basic thing, but nobody ever thought about it that way. And you're like, oh, snap. Like, I didn't think that this could be done yeah. in this format. Because just like I had an ex that that's what he used to do. Yeah. And I had a car accident recently, unfortunately. Sorry to hear that. The back of my car yeah. messed up. My sound system, uh-huh. pristine. Right. It didn't move. It stayed in the same place. And I'm sure it plays. Yeah. And I'm just like, this is crazy. This is wild. Yeah. But it's because when you are into what you're doing, you're going to do it all the way to the top tier of whatever you did last time. You mind if I ask you a question? Go ahead. Um, What do you think is creative to you? For me... Being creative is kind of like magic, you know, Mm. because you come up with stuff in your mind that although everything has been done before, it hasn't been done by you that way. Right. So being a creative, it could just be the way you live is being Mm. creative, Mm. you know, so 
Yeah, like it's just your existence in itself to me is creation if you carry it with passion, with fire, and you always try to top yourself yeah. from the last spot because yeah. that's that's how I see it. Like mm-hmm. it doesn't stay the same. Right. It's always evolving. Evolving and growing. Yeah. So it's like a, a personal alchemy. Yeah. Yeah. Like transmutating certain energies into like creating something greater. Mood. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So that's definitely what creative means to me. That's that's fire. And you know, let me tell you something. I like the the pe that the, what you described there. Mm-hmm. I like those type of people mm-hmm. because I'm not saying you know I don't like the box people in, yeah. but those type of people who live a creative lifestyle is based on their own growth, mm-hmm. not just like painting or art or whatever, but their just own creative growth and how they do things. It, it it's crazy. And it's inspiring. Yeah. Because sometimes you'll somebody you don't even know passes you in the street and you'll just feel the vibe and you'll be like, hey, like this is an interesting person. Yeah. And and it captures you for that moment. And sometimes I just like watch people and I'm mm-hmm. just like, huh. I never thought of maybe wearing something that way, walking that way, speaking that way. Yeah. And I'm going to keep that for later because I might make it a character. I might make it something else. You draw inspiration from other people. You ever been to Atlanta? Yeah. I love Atlanta. Yeah. Now, I'm not I'm not making an advertisement for Atlanta. They don't want no more people there. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. Uh, that, They're that, like, what's we're called? full. The, eight, the, what's the, 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 what's the 85, what's the, what's the highway? Yeah, there ain't no more. Yeah, there's no more. Twenty five, whatever. No more space. Yeah, but I'm gonna tell you like this, um, because there's a time I went there. I was in and out really, so I never really got to, 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 to vibe. Mm-hmm. And the first time, besides being in and out of there, that I was able to vibe was like recently, and you can literally feel the energy oh, coming so from the city. Beautiful. You know what I'm saying? And, and maybe you know, maybe I'm a weirdo for that, but I could feel it. Mm-hmm. It was like, you know, the, the sky was blue, mm-hmm. but like the energy. And I'm like, okay, so I'm going, I'm grabbing stuff like, you know, come stand here for a few days. Mm-hmm. So I'm grabbing stuff, I'm going to the Target, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I'm grabbing like a little iron board. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I had a beard, so I'm trying to like get like <laughs> okay. some of the Dax oil, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so I'm just going there little places and, and the people are greeting you and stuff. And you're like, Everybody's wow. nicer over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I love Miami too, you know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong, but the energy was like that transmutative type mm-hmm. of thing we're talking about. It was just like, wow, like. I see why people move here. Yes. Not saying that I'm a move there. I like Florida. That's just me. Yeah. But I see it now. I like. I see why they do it. Same. Um, the last time I went, I had been there for Black Riders Weekend. Yeah. And I couldn't attend everything because, you know, after being with so many people, I like to just take a moment yeah. to myself. But to see... An actual weekend filled with black writers. Mm -hmm. Super interesting. Then you go to like different spaces and it's just, you know, you got the weirdos. You got the natural people. You have like the black hippies. You have a little bit of everything in Atlanta. And it's just like, yo, this is crazy. Yeah. And my homeboy picked me up and he took me to a festival and it's like for farmers, black farmers. Wow. And they just had like, he took me to a road and in the back of the road, we walked through gardens and dirt and whatever. And it's like a self-made carp. Yeah. And some lights, you know, you sitting on the steps. Yeah. Some people are sitting on the floor. Some people are barefoot. Yeah. And it's like a concert. Yeah. That's crazy. You know? Who's had, do you know of any of the notable acts? No, because it was local artists. But still fine. But they were so good. Yeah. And you just feel it. Yeah. And there was even like fireflies and stuff. I'm like, this is this is magical. One day, I'm, I, I, you know, one day I want to see like... um. A summer walker and Jacquees concert in Atlanta one day. That'd be like, interesting. Yeah, like if they had That'd one. That'd be good. Yeah, yeah. Because I like summer walker yeah, a lot. and I like Jacquees. I I'm, really do. I'm just he, You know, his little <laughs> art, king of R, R&B thing. I don't know, bro. But nah, I think, I think, keep I think. working. Keep yeah. working. Nah, nah, I like but it. But he's not bad. Yeah, but to see like, because they're local artists, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but they're not local artists. Gotcha. And the way they vibe, 
You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like based off the interview and stuff, they still have a local vibe to them. Like it's still like, um, they're not separated from people. Yeah.